we're recording and we're broadcasting live now. Uh, I'm so thrilled that today we have Holly Hebert joining Pamela and Gustizia and myself, Dr. Gill from Pulsar Health. Um, and um, we are starting just a couple of minutes early because I couldn't wait and um, uh, it's going to be so much fun. Uh, Holly is uh, somebody who we are incredibly lucky to have here. She has um, been in the field uh, working with not just hundreds of doctors but thousands of doctors over the last 10 years. Um, she goes into practices and helps them uh, improve whatever they're doing for functional medicine to get better outcomes for patients and her work is all science-based. Now as a, I'm uh, consider myself a surgeon scientist. I've done a lot of basic science research. I did over three years at NIH in the immunology of cancer. I did over two, uh, two years in Pittsburgh in the immunology of trauma. So I've done a lot of immune basic science research. And when I saw, uh, when I first met Holly and she talked about the research behind her work, I was like, she's legit. She's great. <laughs> and so I'm so excited to have her on. Do you want to say hi, Holly? So, hi, thank you. I, I greatly appreciate having you. And I think that when you and I met and we just started talking about things that we can do, not only with your uh, practice, but also the community to be able to help them uh, improve their overall health with a simplistic approach that's science-based. Um, and, and that's really our goal to, to share um, things that we can do. I think in this, in this time right now that we're all dealing with all of these overexposures of influx of information and, and just hope that we can share some great information to be able to improve your overall health, um, balance your, your uh, regulatory cells to improve uh, your immune system, because this is not going to be the first or last time that we're exposed to something like this. So it's a little bit, you know, nerve wracking when, you know, you, you get all this overindulgence of information and hopefully we can share something that's going to benefit you and your family. Yeah. And Pamela, uh, uh, do you want to say something to, <laughs> to I'm a, I, so I'm, I'm one of the owners at Muse Medispa and we, um, you know, we're obviously a health and wellness aesthetics that type of thing, but I've spent the last, I don't know, 15 years or so, um, and maybe actually longer than that, uh, interested in kind of the, you know, health and, you know, holistic kind of uh, approach to supporting our body's natural ability to just do what it does best, you know, um, and I think we're exposed to a lot of things that, especially right now in this time of stress, and people are kind of eating junk food and things that they wouldn't normally, um, that is not necessarily supporting our body's um, natural ability to, to do what it does. And I'm seeing just uh, one of our previous guests uh, logging on, so I, I don't know if he knows to, um, that's, to that's pop crazy. on as a guest. <laughs> He's funny though, so I don't know. <laughs> So I'm going to start a presentation. Oh, sorry. I'm going to start a presentation so that we can um, we can just go through this. I'll just move everyone up there. Um, so uh, we uh, wanted to give you guys a background um, on, and I'm going to just switch this around. We want to give you a background on uh, a little bit of technology so you can put things in context. Uh, once you have a, um, a concept, then it makes a lot more sense as to what you may need, what others may need. So this is this is going to be our, uh, our, our little intro. So uh, Holly had prepared this talk, but I am giving it instead of her because it's my interpretation of her talk, and she's going to chip in whenever she wants. <laughs> so um, let's see, let's get this moving. Um, so this is us. <laughs> we are like, we're organisms. Uh, and we have um, a lot, there's a lot of things that are going on that contribute to who we appear to be. Um, so there are um, things that affect us like nutrient deficiencies, relationships, sleep, diet, inflammation, all these things that contribute to who we are. Um, like results in how healthy we are. Like, do we have diabetes, cancer, anxiety, all these issues? And they're all linked Hello. because it's just one organism. So we, we, they're all linked together. Um, in terms of the systems we're looking at, the immune system is, is what we're looking at, but it's interlinked with all of these other systems um, as we're organisms that sort of work in symbiosis with everything else. 
Um, I'm going to move this down here. I should minimize this for a second. Uh, we are, um, our, our immune system is basically there as a defense system. It is our, it is the thing that stops us from being invaded and keeps us healthy. Um, so, um, uh, it's, uh, look, talking of military, here's a fortress. <laughs> so there are two main parts to the immune system. There is the innate immune system, and then there is the adaptive immune system. Now, the innate immune system is like, it's, it's physical barriers. It's like things that are, make it hard to get to get to you. The adaptive immune system is more like the sharpshooters. It is like, um, it is like the military snipers, um, and they, um, they aim at specific targets. Um, so we're going to just look uh, briefly at um, why at the innate system. So um, the innate system is um, the, the mechanical barriers. And this is why we were saying when you wash your hands, be sure that you don't crack your skin by washing it too, too much. Um, your mucous membrane is a barrier that when they do the swabs for the PCR tests for um, looking uh, for the coronavirus, that's, that's where they get that from. Um, the stomach acid means that if you ingest coronavirus, it's not going to infect you because the stomach acid kills it. Um, then we have all these secretory enzymes. The IgA is something that your, um, that your mucus um, uh, ha contains um, because it's produced by, uh, by glands there. And the IgA is, is good at capturing organisms and helping get rid of them. Um, and so vitamin A actually helps work on the IgA. The inflammatory process is, is like the whole, is your reaction to what's going on. So, um, so, for the innate system, this is why we have these habits and practices that we're starting, um, because they work with the innate system. They're trying to prevent you getting infected. It's like that moat on the fortress. Are we, are we doing good so far, Holly? Does that yes, yes. All right. So the, the thing, like the moat, you have social distancing. You're staying away from people, um, except for your loved ones who you are in contact with all the time. Washing the hands frequently is supporting your skin barrier. Avoiding touching your mouth, eyes, and nose, which are like places where the bacteria can enter onto the mucosal membranes. Um, covering, your, sorry, covering your nose and mouth um, is a, a way to... Um, is a way to um, uh, uh, th what the mass try to do and in general the mass prevent you spreading infection to others but if you have something with a special filter like an N95 it can prevent you getting infected too and that's why we were emphasizing using the filters in the masks. Um, you can reduce your immune burden. Um, and we, this talk is not just for COVID-19. As Holly said, going forward, we are going to be exposed to other things, you know. And so it is really important for us to, um, to be able to deal with all kinds of stressors. Um, getting, everyone knows we should get enough sleep, but it really does make a difference to your hormone levels, your cortisol, your other hormones, and they directly affect your immune cells. So um, this, and you, you can tell if you don't have enough sleep. The exercise is important for improving your circulation, getting all those cells circulating to where they need to go, improving your, your um, cardiovascular and hormonal responses. It helps, uh, it can help reduce your blood sugar. And with a high blood sugar, that, effect, that can affect your immune system as well. Um, so there, there are a lot of benefits rather than just circulatory benefits here. Um, so did I miss something? Um, so getting rest, um, and um, healthy foods and key nutrients. So we're going to talk a little bit about the lifestyle and then we're going to talk about some of the, some of the compounds you can take. And just, and just to kind of intervene here, um, you know, with any exposure, whether it's um, any virus, foods, uh, stress, uh, sleep, you know, lack of, um, of exercise, no movement. I mean, everybody's different and it's all... Uh, a, a correlation to an imbalance of your, your T regulatory cells or your overall uh, endocrine system on, on how we react. So, you know, as we move later in the slides, we want to just really kind of give you some key things that you can do to be able to improve your immune system. So not only for today and what we're dealing with, but also in the future of, of other things that we may be exposed to. Exactly. I, the, the, the coronavirus is not the last of our challenges. Uh, it's, it, it, it highlights what we're doing, but um, it's definitely one of, of a whole stream of issues. Like our, our, our um, life expectancy is not increasing anymore. 
Uh, we have a whole, there's a whole bunch of things we can talk about. Um, but I wanted to- I would like to just add, if I could in there, just because of so many people who have reached out to me personally in the last few weeks, and in, increasingly in the last week, of uh, just friends like really just needing somebody they're you know they're feeling very isolated so those like like we're talking about the high cortisol levels and um people are really struggling and that's really affecting their ability to sleep their ability to to even want to eat you know like normally i eat all the time and i'm like Ugh, i don't even feel like eating you know so we're not we're not i think it's the stress of all of the isolation and the uncertainty and those kind of things are even even more impactful right now than than what the underlying conditions may be in the first place you know it's, and i definitely agree i mean i think that um you know sharing with others that are all kind of dealing with what we're dealing with what are we doing that's, that's helping us to be able to sleep better I, and i'm telling you that when i was first home i mean it was like kind of culture shock i had to literally turn the tvs off and do some things, you know, I was working from home and I wasn't used to sitting for long periods of time. And I'd have to stop or, may, or just say, you know, I'm gonna stop at this time and I'm gonna right. go outside. And we are so blessed in South Florida to be able to have great weather and right. take a walk to the beach and turn the TVs what, off and, and do a yeah. little meditation. And I never yeah. did that before, so. And that's, why, that's actually why we started this whole series. And I think people are feeling it's not okay to be feeling stressed really <laughs> it's okay like if you're if you're doing okay with it you're probably really not okay you know and, and, and call a friend and ask him hey let's go right. for a walk. let's go get some right. fresh air and see if you have a change of scenery somewhere it yeah. really you know we're, we're in a situation where we need to have community to be able to bond together to get through this this is not right. easy Exactly. And as Pamela said, that that's why we created this series. One of the reasons is to have community. And we, we do, we're going to do one of two things to help with that, because I'm always trying to look for a solution as a, as, a, as a medical provider. And so on Wednesday, we're going to talk about the emotional side of things, like how to deal with it. And uh, we're there also, um, we can, um, um, uh, where uh, Holly and I have discussed that there are certain um, um, things that help your stress response like adaptogens and so there we could do a different talk about the the ways to, to supplement your your body with uh, with things that help fight the stress response but for instead of just wine <laughs> or chocolate um, but today we're focusing specifically on the immune system so I'm going to go back to sharing that because I want people to get the information so your adapt so we've talked about your innate system and now we're talking about your adaptive immune system and this is the one that's like the sniper shooter it adapts to what's happening so that it can specifically take out the problem target and there's two main cell types here and there's a lot of different cell types there's antigen presenting cells there's a lot of different types of cells but the ones that you'll hear a lot of are the t cells which are the regulatory cells and the b lymphocytes are producing the antibodies um so the body's all the time surveilling these things and the surveillance cells are like the, the macrophages the dendritic cells they're 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 cells that are monitoring what's going on um and they look at what we breathe what we eat what we absorb um and um they they communicate with um the um the the other immune cells the t cells the b cells and, and everything else um, so uh, the immune system uh, is can work for us or against us if it's not regulated right. And the regulation of the immune system is very finely tuned. There's checks and balances in multiple places. And that's what I was researching as a basic scientist was all these checks and balances. Um, and our bodies are amazing. Uh, but sometimes things go out of whack and you can develop autoimmune disease or you can not fight infection and you can get really, really sick. Um, so the um the gut is really important because a lot of our immune system lives here um they say a half to uh, to two thirds or so can, uh, lives in the gut area um and so a lot of times what we eat affects our immune system as well uh and i won't go into details here but it's very important and I, and I just want to touch on something there with with the gut and the immune system and one of the you know dr karazian who is our chief science officer and very very well respected in the world of integrated medicine. He's written a brain book and a thyroid book and really works with very, very difficult patients. And one of the things that he talks about, about the gut, I mean, being 72% to 80% 80 to your immune system, that it affects it. So things that we can control is what we put in our bodies. And one of the things that he talked about 
one of his podcasts or telecasts that I thought was pretty profound that you can actually reset your microbiome, your gut in 72 hours by adding plant-based diversity. And he says, put it in a Vitamix, who cares if it tastes terrible, but you can actually reset um, your gut and the inflammation in 72 hours by adding plant-based, organic preferred, diversified. Um, so all different colors of the rainbow and have that variety and you can reset it. So yeah, and the reason, it, the reason it's 72 hours is that's how long it takes for something to go from your mouth out through your, your, your bottom. Uh, right. Because um, that's roughly the period of time. Obviously, sometimes we eat something, it shoots through a lot quicker. But on average, three days is how long it takes for things to go through. I think I can just add on that. I don't know if you're going to cover it or not, but I think most people, you know, who aren't involved, you know, or in in the medical field or the integrative medicine, necessarily don't understand. Like, well, why would my microbiome not be right anyway? You know what I mean? But if that the all the antibiotic, you know, antibiotics that we've gone. I've heard something once, like even if you've taken one series of antibiotics in your life, your microbiome are like off. You know, and so when you think about yeah, a lot of the food we eat has antibiotics in it. It's fed to the fed to the animals. The water, it's in like of, so. There's a lot all of, of us, unless we're really paying attention, our microbiome is not where it needs to be. <laughs> you know, unless we're really doing a reset on it. Yeah, and that's why the fresh vegetables uh, and, um, and and fruit are so important. And that's why we have the nutrition component in our series because it is so important to eat right. Um, so. We'll go Back to the PowerPoint real quick. <laughs> uh, so we, we'll move on and from, so eating right is super, super important, especially right now. Uh, and this is a little joke that Holly had in there. Um, <laughs> and so the pro-inflammatory foods, and we've all heard of this stuff, but um, things that uh, can um, contribute to more of, a, of, a, inflame, uh, of a, a negative response would be a lot of the processed packaged foods that we are turning to as comfort foods. And that's why I have um, Ed, who's coming on later this week to talk about uh, weight management. He's been training uh, people to, in weight loss, and and he's a uh, he's a um, boxer uh, for for many many years. And we'll talk a little bit about how we can try to wean down these things. So, um, going uh, getting back on track, um, factors uh, that uh, affect our, our barriers, are, as we already talked about, was that the stress, um, the exercise, the sleep, and these are all things that we have control over to some extent. You know, we we can we can we don't have control over what's going on with the government regulations and with a lot of the financial stuff, but we we can control a lot of this. And did you guys want to say something real quick? Yeah, I mean, I think that, that it, I mean, you're exactly right. I mean, it's, it's w what are the things that we can control that have a profound effect on our overall health? Um, and, you know, one of the things that I, sh that I shared earlier, you know, the meditation, yoga, getting out and getting some fresh air, making some tweaks and changes into your overall diet uh, really, really makes an impact on how you feel. And uh, I know that everybody's dealing with the stress management. And, and if, you, if you can just kind of maybe journal and write down some things of some key things that you can do to reduce the amount of stress that you're exposed to. For me personally, I've turned the TV off. I just feel that I can't get this over, uh, over an abundance of, um, I feel like there's just a lot of negativity right now. And I just am trying to do whatever I can to influx my mind and, and my soul with, with positivity. So that's one of the things that I've done in, in meditation. I never did meditation before. I, I incorporated the yoga, but just in eight to 10 minutes, I said, let me try something different of what I was doing before. And it's really helped with just calming my brain down and, and influxing it with positive thoughts. Yeah, our immune system is is a balance of all of this. It's not just supplements. It, the point is that it, it it is all of it, all of this. And so, having an immune con health consultation looks at all these different things and not just supplements. Uh, but supplements can help if, like, as as an extra boost. I believe in trying everything. I believe in using Western medicine, complementary medicine, lifestyle, everything, because you okay. have the best quality life you can get. Yes, I totally agree. And and. You know, we'll get into as as you get towards the end of the of the slide is just it gets overwhelming. You know, what do I take? You know, I hear about this and I hear about that, and everybody's got the flavor of the day. And just I want to share and 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 Dr. Gill 
wants to share, you know, what key things that are cost effective that are going to have great impact on your overall health. Okay. Cool. So we'll just keep whipping through. <laughs> um, and I, I want to make sure that we uh, get have time for questions. So things to replenish. Uh, you, uh, if you ideally, you get things from real whole food, uh, vitamins and minerals. And um, as Holly said, you could put them in a Vitamix. I prefer to cook things and in a with a tasty sauce. But however you want it, the fiber it will be in the in the um, uh, in the whole grains and but. Uh, but a lot in the vegetables, um, the prebiotics, uh, which is uh, you can also get from the vegetables and sleep. Um, what do you, if there's still a gap, that's when you can look at medications and supplements, nutraceuticals versus over the counter. Now I wanted to, um, to uh, talk about, uh, Apex Energetics just briefly, uh, in a minute, but let me just cover a couple of useful vitamins. A and D is particularly helpful with this, um, with the COVID situation. Um, uh, it's the coronavirus causes COVID-19, the disease. So COVID-19 is not the virus, it's the coronavirus. Um, but so the, the, uh, vitamin A is helpful in the T helper cells, but it's the B cells that helps with secretory uh, I, IgA, uh, which is one of the immunoglobulins. Uh, and then vitamin D helps in multiple places, especially with T regulatory cells. Other things that help are glutathione, um, and glutathione is very good for um, in multiple places. It works on NF kappa B, which is a very key um, a, a transcription factor uh, that modulates a lot of the inflammatory response. So I and just, to, just to touch on glutathione, I mean, glutathione is your mother antioxidant. It's the most powerful antioxidant that protects your cells. And as we age, we deplete the amount of glutathione that, um, um, that we produce. And one of the things, one of the research in, you know, on um, any of the research articles will tell you that the main common denominator of people that have chronic disease is depletion of glutathione. Glutathione is so powerful, and we'll get into a little bit more of, of what it does, but it, it, it basically, as we are exposed to whatever the triggers that causes an, an imbalance in our immunity, it actually has the ability to protect your cells and kind of gives you a defense mechanism um, to whatever you're exposed to, whether it's environmental or from the foods or from a virus. And so I've, I've been looking at what I can have in, in Pulsar Health to, um, to be able to give to people, um, well, sell to people, <laughs> but uh, the, um, what I, and I've been using it myself. Uh, and so I brought my stuff <laughs> from home and uh, I used, uh, I used the vitamin D here, which is the ultra D complex, but this is part of a, a bigger thing that I'm doing right now. Um, but you can get these like liquid D drops and it's just one drop a day. Um, and I wanted to like, I wanted Holly to explain why Apex because they're a pharmaceutical grade company, which is why I like them. But do you want to explain to people what yeah. they look for when they look for a supplement company? So, so you know, I've been in the in in the world of uh, integrative functional medicine for over a decade, and in my experience, there I mean, there's an overabundance of supplement companies, and as you know, over the last ten years, I've seen more and more of, the, of, of many different companies popping up, and as a consumer, it's just so important to do your due diligence to make sure because there's no FDA regulations when it comes to supplementation. Uh, literally, they can put whatever they want. There's no guidelines. They're not testing the product. But when you're a pharmaceutical grade company like Apex Energetics, we sell only directly to, um, to practitioners, healthcare providers, and we go through a manufacturing guideline where we're in a pharmaceutical grade facility where we have FDA regulation to where they test the raw ingredients that are in our, in our products. We do follow Prop 65, which Prop 65 is one of the most stringent manufacturing guidelines in the state of California that basically says that if anything has cancer causing ingredients that we have to list it on our label. So we follow that in all states. So how uh, one how do other people, like if there's a different supplement company, how can they tell whether like it, it does that or not? Is there something on the label? How do they know? So um, assays, I mean, our company provides assays of all of the toxins and, and, and that we test all of the raw ingredients to make sure that they're tested for contaminants and toxins. So a lot of companies, if you call them and ask them if they have assays, many of them don't. 
They don't provide that. They don't do testing on um, chemicals in the raw materials to make sure that what's on the label is really on the label. GMP certification, good manufacturing process. It's a guideline that the pharmaceutical grade companies will have, which is a third party manufacturing guideline that they're testing the raw materials outside of your own company. Great. So the, the Prop, And Prop 65. Yeah. Many of the companies are not following Prop 65. Uh, many, many years ago, and I'm sure that you've heard of the contaminants of um, the rice proteins that were um, coming over from China. I mean, a lot of these herbs that companies are using are coming over from um, different places that have contaminants in the raw ingredients. So the GMP certification is an outside party um, that actually looks at the raw, raw material to make sure that they're pure. Great. And the, also the formulation, a lot of times it is hard for capsule, for, for tablets and capsules to actually dissolve in your GI system. So I, I'm a huge fan of liquid supplements where you can get liquid supplements. Um, and so they, uh, almost all of mine are liquid here, but I've got that, that vitamin D and then we have the... And I, and I just wanted to touch on that vitamin D real quick. I mean, vitamin D... Um, a lot of the practitioners that test for vitamin D, most people are vitamin D deficient. Even though we live in South Florida, um, a lot of people are wearing sunscreen, so it blocks the amount of vitamin D that we're getting. Vitamin D plays such a profound role in not only fighting disease, boosting your immune system, it also plays a ro role in our bone health and heart disease. And that little bottle of the vitamin D for I think less than $20, um, you get 550 drops. And some people may need to take more than 2,000 IUs. That other bottle that you showed, the Ultra D, is, is 5,000 IUs per serving. Um, but that's a really cost-effective way to be able to um, boost your immune system and protect against free radicals and um, fighting against disease. I've been taking this. It tastes like bananas. I really like it. And, and bone <laughs> yeah. Oh, just so if I can add in there, bone health with vitamin D is huge. I had like yes. fractured bones and I just did high doses of the, the vitamin D and didn't have to have surgery. My, my orthopedic was like, how did you do that? <laughs> you know, so yeah, vitamin, I was like, people need to know about this vitamin D gig, man, because <laughs> calcium is not getting absorbed, you know, so yeah. Exactly. And I give it to my kids. It doesn't, the, yeah. the, the liquid drops, it doesn't taste like anything. The yeah. other one, I, I think it tastes like lemon. Um, you do have to be careful in an over, like over, you know, vitamin yeah, D. It's but. nice to get, good to get tested if you're on it. If you're, you can take a bottle and if you've not been on anything and you'll be fine, but you do want to get tested for your levels at some point to see where you're at because vitamin A and D are both stored in the liver. And so it's not like B or C vitamins that are washed away in your urine if you have too much. So you do want to get tested at some point. But as Holly said, most people are deficient. Like the vast majority are deficient. And, and going back to the liquid, uh, the liquid emulsification, we, the, the, the glutathione that we'll talk about later, it's a liposomal delivery, which means that it bypasses your gut. And so it doesn't have to be broken down in the gut. So the bioavailability of how much is being absorbed into your cells, uh, you would take less than taking a capsule or a tablet. Yeah, so I, I have, um, I got it here, the trisomal glutathione. I haven't started opening this bottle yet, but I have been taking these at home and these are for general inflammation. This is turmeric and everyone knows that turmeric is good for you, but this comes in some sort of emulsified formula. And so it is, it is, um, it is much better absorbed and, and utilized by the body. And do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's an emulsifica emulsified delivery system. It has black pepper. A lot of curcumin out there does not have black pepper. And what I love about curcumin or turmeric is that if you Google on any of the PubMed, um, I mean, there's so much research on curcumin as an anti-inflammatory and major role in, um, in dampening inflammation in our body, joint pain, um, back pain i mean it's just it's a phenomenal herb and that that particular delivery system is absorbed um versus somebody taking 10 uh to 15 capsules or tablets versus taking a tablespoon of the emulsified curcumin 
And then this resveratrol is, is the equivalent of wine. <laughs> so it is, it's, it's what's in red wine that works. Now I think wine might be tastier, uh, but you, it doesn't make you drunk if you have this. So that's good. <laughs> right. And that's better on the, on the detoxification system too. Yeah. So um, those are just some, some examples of, of supplements that could help you right now. There's obviously uh, vitamins B and C. And, we, and next week, we're going to talk about IV uh, vitamins and um, peptides and all those other things that can also help your immune system. But I wanted a good grounding in like, so that you understand what things affect the immune system and like simple little things you can start with, like what, like the vitamins A and D. Uh, but make sure you get good quality supplements and make sure that they are in formulations that are easy to absorb um, because that will really make a difference as to whether you're throwing your money away or it's actually doing some good. Yeah, I always say the most expensive supplements are the ones that don't work. And the other, the other really important one, and I've heard it a lot, um, but just with this whole COVID, it's come up um, a lot with the, with the world of functional medicine and, and the Institute for Functional Medicine and the research behind is zinc is that most people are just deficient in zinc. And zinc is another formula that's not very expensive uh, for about a two month supply. I think it's about less than $20. And that, most people are vitamin or, or zinc deficient. And that has a direct correlation on how we combat any exposure that disrupts our immune system. So it, it has a direct impact on immunity is zinc. Yeah, and, and as a plastic surgeon, I often uh, have been dealing with chronic wounds, and zinc and vitamin C are often two things that you really need for wound healing. Uh, and it's kind of, and you need a functional immune system for wound healing, you know. So it's, these things are, these are, these, uh, you can easily get your blood tested. We can do blood tests for you to see what your levels are, or you could try some of these and see how they go. But if you want a full a consultation, we are having a special 80% off. Um, but uh, these are some things you can do regardless. Uh, Pamela, did you have any last words? Because we're almost out of time. Wow. How did time go so fast? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have any more questions. I thought that was very uh, in informative. I don't know if any of our um, if any of our guests have any questions, but they this will be posted in the Facebook event and questions can be asked there and uh, Holly's contact information as well as uh, Dr. Gills will be there so that, you know, we can do contact with each other and if any of us get people that are asking questions we can get them over to the right people so that they can have their, their questions fully answered but thank you so much thank, thank you so much I what are we talking about time. tomorrow tomorrow we're we're talking um it's your, it's your husband the celebrity. It's my husband i think it's supposed to be so uh we're talking about um how you know how people might have done things with their hair? We he, he owns a hair uh, uh, salon in downtown Boca. Celebrity. Where, where is he? I need him. I know, right downtown Boca. Believe me, everybody is they're, they're messing their hair up right now for doing things. And right. so, uh, basically, kind of what to expect when you do go back to your salon, and um, and also kind of how you can, um, you know. <laughs> wear a hat or something to cover up what you've That's done. So one thing I learned from going to their, their salon, I went to one of the, the parties they had there and all, all of his like long-term clients have amazing thick hair. And I was like, how do they do it? And he has them literally brushing like, I don't know, a hundred times or something. He has them literally yeah. brushing every day. And I thought, oh, that, I thought that was no wife's tail, but it's not. Like no, he has it's the sc stimulating the scalp. I, I, he's doing it every morning. I hear him like brushing. All right, I'm getting, I'm, get, I'm, getting on the, I'm getting on the podcast tomorrow. I got to hear. I got to hear. Yeah, so it'll be it'll be fun and informative and he's on the radio station a lot so you know it'll be it'll be fun so tune right. in. Right. thank you Mom. I hope I hope that 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 uh you'll learn something and that uh we're all in this together and anything that we can do to 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 help you um please uh reach out. And I look forward to doing some some live at the office in West Palm Beach because your office is beautiful, Dr. Gill. I know, it really is. We may be operating a little bit out of there until we can open where we are, so. And Holly, uh, that, that mirror behind you looks like a halo and you've been- I mean, It has the whole time, it does. It, your head's like right in the middle and it look, has looked like the halo the whole time. I'm, just, I'm feeling like an angel. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.